Hi folks, I'm Christopher Lachey, and I'm going to show you how to replace the laptop screen on an Aspire One D250-1417 mini notebook. The only tool that you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver. Make sure it has a fine point on it, but you don't need a jeweler's screwdriver. Just a regular one will work. As you can see here, the laptop screen is broken. So, you're going to want to power off the laptop, unplug it from any power source, and remove the battery. I want to note that there are four screws on this faceplate. What you see here is a tiny plastic cover that goes in the bottom left and the bottom right corners of the screen. It doesn't have a rubber top, it doesn't come off very easily. In fact, you'll need something like a pocket knife, a razor, or an X-Acto knife to get up underneath the edge and pry it off. You're gonna start by removing the rubber faces off the screws at the top of the screen. I've already gone ahead and done that. They're adhesive. Stick them somewhere, you're not gonna lose them. And then very gently, you don't need a lot of torque, undo the screws at the top. Now when removing the faceplate, <clears throat> this is actually all one piece of plastic and you have to be very careful because these latches in here, the hinges uh, are actually very fragile, but they're also bifurcated so you can remove these as well. It's all going to come off as one piece. So you're going to start at the top and slowly snap it off with your fingernails, if you have fingernails. This front plate is going to give you a hard time. Don't be afraid to apply some elbow grease and you will literally hear a snapping noise as it comes undone slowly from the, plow, from the back plate. You're going to go first, you're going to first remove this little piece of masking tape. It's just to keep the cable near the screen. You can replace it with more masking tape later or you can use the same one. It's perfectly fine. You're going to undo these bottom black screws and it's going to drop the back plate when they're released. So let me get this first one out. And the second one. Okay. That whole back part is just going to come loose. Now, you can get to the screws that the screen is actually attached to the brackets with. And there's two screws on the other side as well. So we're going to go ahead and remove those and be ready to replace our screen. I'm going to turn this around and show you. Once it's released, to be very careful because this is the power cable. This is a thicker piece of tape that you're going to want to keep and it's attached to your LCD cable. And it's going to, you're going to lift up on all four sides and you're going to unplug it from the back of the screen. That's what it's going to look like when you remove it from the back of the screen. And this piece is going to get plugged into the new screen. All right, now we're going to do everything in reverse and we're going to start by plugging our cable for our LCD screen back in. There we go. There, you got it. <clears throat> All 
Alright. Go ahead and reattach back into the brackets. Make sure not to remove the protective plastic cover on the screen until after you're ready to reattach the snap-on front. Just retaping this. Back up. We just want to make sure that LCD cable doesn't get a, get in the way of anything. You have these little black nodes as guides to get everything. Oops, to get everything reattached. Again, don't use a whole lot of torque. It's just a computer. Make sure your wires are tucked back in. Now, we're going to go ahead and remove this screen. You can hear those satisfying snaps as everything goes back into place. These black screws are all the same size, so you can put them back in any order. It's not going to mess anything up. Okay, now we're just going to reattach our cosmetic moldings and our rubber stoppers. These are important to reattach because they prevent the top of the monitor from slamming against the bottom of the laptop. But these plastic moldings, it's your call. If you want to put them back in, they are kind of a pain to get out, like I said. They don't serve much of a purpose except to cover up the screws. Okay, let's go ahead and put our battery back in and see if our screen works. There we go, we've got a working screen. That's how you replace the screen on an Acer Aspire 1 D250-1417 mini model.